Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to uh, show you some question answers on the basis of ASP.NET Core and the REST APIs. So uh, the first question is what is ASP.NET Core and everyone you know uh, what is ASP.NET Core. ASP.NET Core is a uh, framework where we design uh, web applications and modular type of applications cross platform and uh, you know secure applications okay so that is the uh, free, uh, web framework the next one is to uh, the second question is how does asp.net core differ from asp.net web forms and asp.net mvc so before discussing about the difference between asp.net mvc and web forms just uh, discuss uh, my membership program okay so uh, in my membership program, I will provide you a complete video tutorial and uh, I will give you complete uh, source code on these technologies in just 800 rupees. Only a one time fee that is 800 rupees for Indian users and other country users just provide a dollar fifteen. Okay. I will give you complete video tutorial on .NET Core and it's not only a normal video tutorial. It's beginning to advanced video tutorial where, we'll, uh, where we will uh, design uh, repository pattern, clean architectures and solid principles and these are based on your practicals, not only uh, theory, uh, uh, both are included, that is theory and the practicals. So uh, that is project based in courses in all technologies in just 800 rupees. Uh, .NET Core, Dapper, REST API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Units, .NET Blazor, Unit Testing, HTML, jQuery, CSS, SQL Server and React. I will give you a complete .NET Core roadmap in just 800 rupees. Only one time fees that is 800 rupees for Indian users and $1.15 for other country users. How to uh, get this deal actually so just fill this so fill this form and your form link uh, available in video description box so your name your email id your contact number transaction reference id order id or paypal id if you are from india just pay using upi id and uh, mention your uh, upi id is here and transaction id and uh, if you are from other country user just you uh, pay using paypal this is my paypal id okay now continue with uh, your uh, question answer so the question is how does asp.net core differ from asp.net platforms and asp.net mvc asp.net platform is an older techniques where the pages uh, extension is dot aspx you know and each uh, html file or you can say that aspx file is attached with your code behind file and if you can say that uh, the point of security uh, it's much less uh, compared to ASP.NET Core and ASP.NET MVC. So it's an older technology and it's a uh, based on Windows only, um, not a cross platform. But the ASP.NET MVC is a design pattern based architecture that is ASP.NET MVC and follow uh, the design pattern MVC, Model View Controller. And you know, uh, it's only run on Windows, not all platforms. So that is the uh, loop hole in uh, ASP.NET MVC and the, uh, if you compare with the performance though, so ASP.NET Core is more secure and uh, performance is uh, nice. So ASP.NET Core have a built-in dependency injections features and uh, ASP.NET Core have cross platforms and open source and you know ASP.NET Core is more robust uh, to design more robust applications uh, compared to others okay so that is the answer now uh, you got all these answers in my uh, if you want to get practicals uh, on these uh, topics you just get my membership okay so here we have your practical uh, answers so uh, these uh, projects actually have a practicals on the basis of your question answers so you you guys uh, completely know about asp.net core and rest api from my membership okay similarly we have the third question is how do you set up an asp.net core development environment so we need a sdk 
and you know development uh, for the development we need only SDK if you want to run your application on a single based processor based single processor based uh, web server you need a CLR and that CLR is must to based on your machine that is if you want to run your uh, code on your windows then CLR must to depend on uh, windows so CLR is machine dependent and SDK is not a machine dependent it's a uh, uh, software development kits for you provided by Microsoft. So set up ASP.NET Core development environment and development environment is like that uh, environment where we just check your code with the help of debugging. Now the next question is what is the purpose of program.cs file in ASP.NET Core? Program.cs file is the heart of your uh, uh, ASP.NET Core application and that uh, that uh, program.cs file is the entry point of your uh, of your applications okay so program.cs file contain a web application that provide your builder and by using the builder we just create a host and uh, uh, also uh, with the help of builder we can just put or inject any dependencies and also with the help of builder we just create a app uh, that is web application by with the help of application we just add a middleware so uh, everything you know that is the startup point and that's create uh, your whole applications entry points the next question is what how is mono different from dotnet core mono uh, is a different uh, uh, you know uh, application architecture that based on xamarin's and like that like that applications okay so mono is different from .NET Core. What is the key difference between runtime and SDK? Runtime is handling exceptions, uh, you know, load balancing, memory management. That is the post part of your SDK. So the first thing to add SDK in your application because uh, with the help of SDK, you design your application and you create your code. Okay, just after CSC compiler, you just convert your code, uh, your high level code to the uh, MSIL code. Now assembly is created with the help of versioning information and the metadata. Now the CLR is working. Okay. On that time CLR is working. Okay. So that is the difference between the runtime and SDK and .NET Core. So how does .NET Core, uh, .NET support cross platform development? Uh, .NET uh, actually, uh, support a uh, you know uh, with the help of dotnet standards dotnet standards generate a platform agnostic codes okay so it's a api code but dotnet uh, standard generates a platform agnostic code for your uh, specific platforms like uh, windows like unix like mac os and all and all, everything is discussed with the help of sdk and dotnet clr because clr is a machine dependent so Every time CLR generate a machine dependent code, not uh, cross platform code. Okay. The next one is what is the purpose of the CS pros file? So everything you know, heart of your applications, where we have NuGet packages information, where we have um, target frameworks, where we have item groups, where we have images and and all. So and the packages file, framework references and all. So that is the uh, heart of your application. Okay, now the next question is what is middleware in ASP.NET Core? Middleware is just like a class component. Okay, so it's a class component and uh, in between your request response pipeline, you can just inject your middleware because it's inject your methods. So if you want to put your logics uh, between the request response pipeline, you can design your middleware. Okay, so uh, what is MVC and how it works? MVC it's a design pattern. So uh, that is the model view controller and each units uh, that I mean to say that model view and controller is a independent unit but interconnected to each other. So how it works? So first request is come uh, or you can say first request received by controller and uh, process your model data and rendered to the data to the view. Okay. The next one is what is controller class so controller class is everything you know 
when uh, your request is received by the controller so controller class is manage the endpoints request so which action method is actually uh, call on the request so that controller class is managed so similarly we have lots of questions like action method and non action method what is action method and non action method action method is a responsible for http request and non action method not for your http request okay it's only for the helping function for your action methods what is razor views razor views is a view for containing the logical things as well as html data logical things in terms of uh, your code blocks with the help of add the red symbol and also razor view have uh, logical uh, iterations loops and all what is di that is dependency injection and uh, di is actually a design pattern which achieve ioc inversion of control and uh, you know uh, di have some types and some lifetimes so that is the design pattern only so if you want to get details uh, just check my membership what is ef core ef core is like a orm and that ORM, I mean to say that object relation mapper to map your objects. Next is how to create connection with the database using EF Core. That is checked in my uh, membership program. What is environment? Environment have a, you know, a, it's a specific things for your application. That is, we have three types of environment like uh, uh, product, uh, development, staging and production. What is custom server? It's a light web, uh, weight web server, but it's only working in a development mode. Okay, so that we can just debug your application and test your application in your, in your console. Now the next thing is what is model binding in ASP.NET Core MVC. So what is the model binding in ASP.NET Core MVC? Model binding is a process where we bind your model data in uh, in with the different types like a form binding, query string binding, routed data binding, and all. So explain binding uh, from the form values. So we just design a form and pass the data uh, with the help of name property of your, you know, uh, the text boxes. So the name property will bind uh, to the controller action methods. So similarly, we have uh, lots of questions like that. Explain binding through query strings, explain binding through routed data, data transfer objects in ESP.NET Core like emp data, view data, view bag and view data and uh, basic thread operation with the EF core we just uh, check in my membership program what is session and how do you configure session state in ASP.NET Core with the help of the services we just configure your session okay what is the session session is a persistent object so just uh, persist your object data because HTTP is a stateless protocol so a repository pattern with example just check my uh, it's a practical example so entity framework core relationships, uh, we have three types of relationships that is one to one, one to many and many to many. How to tr uh, transfer data from controller to view? Uh, we have lots of mechanism like uh, with the help of session, with the help of view bag, view data, temp data and uh, also we use just view, okay, view method. Okay, so here we have another question answers. What is the difference among view bag, view data and temp data? because uh, differences have uh, in between. View bag contain dynamic uh, variable, view data contain key value pair, temp data contain also key value pair, but temp data and view data is working different because temp data work with the subsequent request and view data is only uh, handling for the single HTTP request. Okay, what is the significance of app settings rotation file in ASP.NET settings, uh, ASP.NET Core? So app settings rotation file is, uh, uh, is a file, is a JSON file, where we uh, transfer data securely through this uh, app sorting storage file. So lots of questions we have in this uh, PowerPoint presentation. If you want to get this uh, question answers, and if you want to join my, uh, if you want to get my membership, just fill this form and form will be available in video description box. Guys, it's an amazing course designed by me and I have 10 to 14 years of experience. So just trust me. And you, I will provide you best and best tutorials. Okay. So thank you very much for watching this video because we have lots of question answers. So thank you very much for watching this.